PC Light Sweep. Add the Light Sweep to your layer. Drag the center off the text. Put a keyframe. Go ahead in your timeline. Drag the center to the opposite side. Play with the settings. And boom, Light Sweep. Add them to the PNGs and logos to spice them up. I got a few more effects. Turbulence Displace. Cut out your subject. Use Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Add Turbulence Displace to your middle layer. Play around with these settings. Keyframe the evolution at the start. Go ahead in your timeline. Crank this number up. Create this really cool warpy effect that you see in popular edits. Or add it to any video to get this really cool warping effect. Yo, is this an effect? No, that's a banana. CC Ball Action. Create this really easy particle effect by grabbing CC Ball Action and putting it onto a cutout or a PNG. Put the ball size to 72. Keyframe the scatter. At the start, put the scatter to 83. Go to the end of your clip, put it to zero, and get this really cool particle effect. You can also add it to text. I really thought there was an effect up here. Find Edges. Grab Find Edges, put it on top of your video. Click on Invert. Add in a glow. Play around with the settings. Add in hue and saturation to make it even crazier. Exposure. Flashes. Add an adjustment layer. Drag exposure onto your adjustment layer. Put a keyframe on your transition and put it to 1.4. Go back two frames. Put a keyframe at zero. Go ahead five frames and put it to zero. Control C and Control V on your next transition. Put it to the middle. Give your transitions a little more spice. Um, you know. Oh, thanks, Mike. Why is it all wet? Oh. Liquify. Grab Liquify and put it on top of your text layer. Put a keyframe on the distortion mesh. Go ahead in your timeline. Click on this little icon right here. Now simply click and drag and I'll start liquifying. Keep clicking and dragging to make the distortion even longer. Play it back and you got some liquid text. CC Lens. Create a really cool lens warp by grabbing CC Lens, putting it on your video, putting the size to 150. Now if you play it back, you got a really cool lens warp. Pixel. <laughs> Don't have RSMB? No problem. Drag on pixel motion blur onto your video. Now get high quality motion blur without any plugins. Do you have shaky footage? Well, no problem. If you add warp stabilizer to your video, let it analyze, and boom, now you have smooth video. Subscribe for more.